Sometimes the hardest part is peeling the paper off the back of the sticker. Hey guys, welcome to a video, a new video for my creative year for January, 2021. Holy cow, where has the time gone? Anyway, <laughs> um, so this month we are doing creative words, still daily word prompts. Um, you all um, really liked them last year and really wanted to keep doing them, so here we are. Anyway, um, I've been working on my words in this particular, there it is, um, journal. This is a Moleskine Cahier. Um, and I started doing these halfway through last year instead of just doing, here we go, um, random word sketches in a little journal like this where I literally just did a, a drawing based on the word. Uh, I am doing those because I'm trying to catch up on words that I've forgotten to do. That's another whole conversation. Um, instead of doing that, I started taking, and I had so many word lists to catch up on, I started taking two lists per journal and doing them in sort of a compilation, compilation, compilation style of journal page with a little bit of collage, a little bit of drawing based on the words and some quotes and thoughts. And so I thought I would show you guys exactly how I'm doing that. Um, I've changed it up, of course, this year, um, but I thought I'd show you how that how I'm doing that. Um, I last year did these same kind of pages for about half of last year um, using two words. This year I'm only doing one. So uh, I have the other sort of lists of word prompts that I need to catch up on, but I am going to do them in separate little drawing journals. For here, for my creative year, we're gonna focus on the words that are in my creative year. So for the month of January, our theme for the whole month is sprouting and all of the words are uh, inspired by that theme. Now, you will notice when you download the words from the group, your words look better than mine and look properly formatted than mine because mine is printed from the original document. Uh, before I decided to make it look pretty for you all. So anyway, if you're at, wondering why my list looks a little different, same words. Um, so these are the pages I've done so far. Um, I have this little pad of um, calendar days. I got, I found it on AliExpress. Um, rather than writing the date in like I did last year, I would write the date. Um, this year I thought we would put these on here. And um, I have these little books of stickers, which I didn't know were stickers at first, so I would just glue them in. Fun fact, these are stickers back here. Anyway, um, so you'll notice how they look white here, and then here, they're transparent, same thing. I just peeled the backing off because I got a clue. Anyway, um, so I do the two collages, usually one upper left, one lower right. And then I um, find the word and do the drawing. Um, these are all um, sprouting, growth-inspired words. So you, m more often than not, my word has something to do with drawing a plant this month. And um, then for the quote, there's a number of different apps you can get from the App Store for quotes. Um, I use Zero Quote and um, or I go to Google and I usually use goodreads.com or oh I can't remember but I usually go to Google and type in like whatever I'm thinking of and then quote and see what comes up. Zero quotes works more often than not. I will tell you to be cautious because even in zero quotes um, not long ago I was looking for a quote to use on my page and I like to have something more positive themed. Um, I generally am not sure who the author is um, at all, so if it's somebody offensive, I apologize in advance because I generally don't know. When I do know, I don't use that quote. For instance, I was searching zero quotes for a quote and one from Adolf Hitler came up. So yeah, I didn't use that one, needless to say. Um, so these are my pages so far 
for the month. Now I usually write the quote on the right side and then as I'm writing the quote and finishing up any final touches on the page, I'm thinking about what other thoughts I want to say about what's on here. And that's what these words are. These are from my brain, whether they make sense or not. And so these are the pages we have so far. It's just a fun sort of different way to do some sort of art inspired journaling, a little bit of collaging, scrapbooky type stuff. Um, some writing and also a little bit of you know actual drawing or painting if you, you were using a different kind of journal You probably could do these in watercolor um, You could do them on little pieces of paper and tape them in you could also tape them in and have the Mia flip out a tip in um, So that's a possibility So these are the ones we have so far That's yesterday's um, I use these pieces of plastic underneath to protect the prior pages and future pages. There we go. So the first thing I do is tear off my date. It's the 12th. And then a couple of these little stickers. I have a number of these little books. Again, these are from AliExpress. And then I start in a similar fashion to how I started the other pages in that I look for bits and pieces that were in my crazy envelope, um, which is here. You can see kind of the pile over here. I do also have um, a number of other things on the table. So let's start with papers. I usually start with papers. I do have these paintings I did today. Do I want to use any of those in here? I don't know if I do. This one's really pretty, but I'd have to fold it or cut it, or I don't know that I want to do that. All right, we're not going to go too far with those, but I don't think I'm going to use them. Here's a, a fun piece of dyed paper. So I usually sort of do a test layout like that just by laying the bits and pieces on the page and seeing where that takes me. Maybe. See, for some reason I'm seeing rainbows today. I don't know why that is. I do think I have a small or something. I don't know, maybe. Oh, maybe that. Okay. And then I'm trying to use up, a, I have a lot of stickers. I love stickers, fun fact, so, but I'm trying to use up some of what I have. And as I'm saying that, you guys, guys can all laugh at me because as I'm doing that, I'm also making new ones because, you know, God forbid I should, I need to use some of these in my other journal. Um, God forbid I should just stick to what I have. So I usually just flip through here to see if there's anything in any of those that is speaking to me. And then we start gluing down. Still don't know what the word is because I haven't looked. So I'm just going to use a Yoohoo glue stick like I do in most of my journals. And the best way to do that is not to cheap out on the glue. It's okay to be heavy handed. Okay, 
I want to add some of this to here. This is how I do it downstairs. I don't, I don't have a paper trimmer downstairs, so I want to cut something like that. I just do it by hand. It's a big sticker. It's from one of my sticker flake sets. It's a picture that I took. Whoops. Just threw a piece of paper on the floor. That's all right. Pulled these out, but do I want to even use them? I don't think I do. That happens. right about there. Now you don't want to cover up too much because we still have to put the quote on here and we still have to put a drawing, some thoughts. So, and I'm not usually about filling up the entire page anyway. So, and then do I want to use one of these on here? Some of these are smudged, but that's okay. I'm going to use them anyway. Question is, do I want to want to use these now? If you haven't seen me use these before, these are um, oh maybe these are some of my artwork and designs printed on overhead projection film, and then cut into little squares, and I use them in my journal pages. Um, you can do this with any of the digital downloads of artwork from my Etsy shop. Um, you can just, rather than print it on regular paper, print it on projection, projection film. If you have some overhead printer friendly uh, stuff. This is just masking tape. But you could use washi tape, you could just staple it in. like that. All right. Now, what is our word for the 12th? Forest. All righty. Put the cap on the glue. Find my phone somewhere. going to spend some time on Pinterest looking for inspiration for drawings or doodles based on the word forest. So you could use Google, you could use um, Pinterest. We're not looking to copy the um, artwork in question, but we're just looking for inspiration. When you're stuck on a word, and you don't know what to draw, Oh yeah, that's a good one, okay. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write the word down here at the bottom. No, the first thing I'm gonna do is put my reading glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. So I always do the drawings in Bic pen. You of course can do it in pencil or whatever you happen to have on hand. It doesn't have to be Picasso. Just have fun with it. Practice your drawing. Nobody ever has to see this except you. You don't have to be like me and be crazy and show it to the entire world. And I always seem to be drawing like right over the spine, which is ridiculous, but you know. Now I'm gonna take a green highlighter marker, which are my, one of my favorite things to color in these 
journals with because even though the paper is pretty thin, these don't really show through very much. They don't bleed. And this is um, a Java power line. And this is mild green, mild, oh, mild khaki. It reminds me of like a sap green color, but because it's a highlighter marker, it's translucent. And so you can see the big pen underneath it. So I can add color to my drawings by using these highlighter markers. Just like that. Just like that. It doesn't have to be more than that. Now we're going to look for a quote. So we're going to go look at zero quotes, which is a quote for today. Now they have a daily quote, which you may or may not like. So if you don't like that one, if that doesn't work for you, then you can just scroll to the left and find another one. You can keep doing that until you find one that speaks to you. I sometimes have to scroll a lot. Okay, that one's funny, but I'm not gonna use it. Ask not what you can do for your country, ask what's for lunch, that's funny. I like this one, this is Confucius. Okay, so once you find a quote that you like, let's write it in here. Now you notice I'm not trying to write neatly. That's on purpose. Because <laughs> I never get it as neat as I want it to be, so why not just messy, be messy to begin with? Okay, and I already know what I want that to say. Okay, so the other thing I do is I take that quote and I share it to my social media because not everybody's gonna get to see the journal page, but usually it's a quote I like. And so usually it's something I wanna share with people. And I don't share the quote with you all. I share it in my other Facebook group, A Life of Art and Self-Expression. They don't get to see the art I made, but they get to see the quote. Okay, and that's that. And that's how we do those journal pages. So I would love to see what you're doing with the words this month. Please do share and um, let's start a conversation. I hope you all, um, if you can, support the free content, not only here in the Facebook groups, but over on the YouTube channel. You can do that a number of different ways. I have Patreon, I've got Netsy's shop. Um, check out the video description for my Linktree list of links and different ways that you can do that. Um, in the video description is also the link to the Art Foamies page with my designs on it and stuff like that. So check out that video description. I do have an email newsletter and that is in the Linktree list of links. So if you'd like that, don't forget to sign up. And what else? Please stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Please wear your mask and don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and I'll see you later. Bye guys.